Transitions are effects that connect one shot to another. They can add a lot of flair and polish to your movie. The most important thing to remember is to only use them when they enhance rather than distract from your story. In this Premiere Pro Intermediate lesson, we're going to learn how to add and adjust transitions. With your project open, go to the Window menu in the Finder, choose Workspace, and then select Effects. An Effects tab will show up in your project panel. Click on that tab. Now click on the right-facing arrow next to the Video Transitions folder. Another set of folders will appear. These are the different categories of transitions that you can use. To see the transitions in any of these folders, click on the arrow next to the folder that you want to open. I'm going to click next to the 3D Motion folder to see what's inside. To add a Cube Spin transition, drag and drop the Cube Spin icon onto your timeline at the edit point between the two shots. You'll see a transition icon show up on the edit. Now play the transition back. The default length of all transitions is one second. To change the length, double-click on the transition icon in your timeline to open the Effect Controls window. The left side of the Effect Controls window shows you the parameters of this effect that you can adjust. To change the duration, click on the set of numbers to the right of where it says Duration. This highlights the numbers, allowing you to type in a new duration. The default alignment is Center at Cut, but you can change the alignment of this transition to Start at Cut or End at Cut. Usually you'll use the centered alignment, but if there aren't enough handles or extra footage to create your desired transition, you may have to adjust the alignment to make it work. Just below alignment, there are two boxes, A and B. A represents the outgoing shot, and B represents the incoming one. To show your footage in these boxes, click in the Show Actual Footage box. Now you can see the last frame of your first, or outgoing, shot, and the first frame of your second, or incoming, shot. You can reverse the direction of the spin by checking the box next to Reverse. Keep in mind that each transition has its own set of parameters that can be adjusted. You can delete a transition by highlighting it in your timeline and then clicking Delete on your keyboard. You can now see that adding and adjusting transitions is easy to do, but deciding what to use and why is where the true art comes in.